All right, this is our last video lesson for the school year. So I thought since it's such a nice day, we should go on a field trip outside. Okay. All right, I said I wanted to show you one other way you can find standard deviation. Because as we saw in that previous example, um, it's not difficult to do, but it's tedious. And right now I have a list that has 15 values in it. And so that's going to be really time consuming. Um, so let's read the directions and then we can move forward. It says find the mean and the standard deviation for the height of 15 cans. Identify any outliers and describe how they affect the mean and the standard deviation. So what we can do is we can input this data into our calculators. So I'm going to head to my calculator and you should get yours out too. Alright, I'm going to try to modify my screen so we can also see the data at the same time. Alright, and I think we can see everything that we want here. Okay, so to put this data into your calculator, you press STAT. Um, and where the STAT button is, is kind of next to your left arrow. And First thing we need to do is we need to edit a list in order to put our data in. So I just press enter over the edit. And now I'm going to type in list one all of my data. So I have 92.8, enter, and I have another 92.8, 92.9, all right, just keep going, entering your data, and I'm gonna do the same. I wanted to have it in here ahead of time for you, but um, it wasn't able to save that for me. Okay, I have all of my data in. And so what I wanna do now is I'm going to press stat again. And notice along the top, there are some different choices. It says edit, calc, and test. I'm gonna use the right arrow to go over to calc. And then I can calculate various things um, from my data. And what I wanna calculate are the single variable statistics or the one variable stat. And so that's the first option. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Um, and then it's going to ask me, well, what list do I want to get my data from? And list one is where I put it. Um, and then I'm going to go down and hit enter on calculate. Now, if you have an older calculator, you're probably just going to hit enter again and you don't scroll through that list. All right. So what we can see right now um, are all of our single variable statistics. We can see that X bar, and we remember that that stands for mean. Our mean is 92.78. Then we can see the sum of our data values, the sum squared. There's things on here that we haven't talked about um, and we don't need to use right now. But the first thing that we see is that X bar is 92.78, or 92, yes, 92.78. Um, Another thing I always like to check is right here where it says n equals 15. That's the number of data values. So that's how um, I can kind of check to see that I didn't make a mistake when I was putting things in. I started with 15 data values in my table. I have 3 times 5, and I got 15 data values in here. My minimum value, my first quartile. Oh, what's that going to be helpful with? A box and whisker plot. Press that down arrow. I can find my median, my third quartile, my maximum. And so notice on here, one thing I skipped over right here is sigma x. That is your standard deviation. So our standard deviation is 0 0.19.
All right, so I'm going to take a few of these important numbers and I'm going to write them down. Okay, so first thing I was asked to find, um, I need to find is the mean, and I can get that from my calculator. It was 92.78. The standard deviation, I got that from my calculator, it was 0 0.19. And now I have to identify any outliers. Remember, outliers are three standard deviations above or below the mean. So three times my standard deviation is equal to 0 0.57. And now I'm going to subtract that from my mean. and I get 92.21 and then I'm also going to add that to my mean and I get 93.35 Okay. so do I have any numbers on my list that are larger than 93.35 there are no outliers, three standard deviations above the mean. Do I have any numbers that are smaller than 92.21? Yes. I have 92.1. That is smaller than 92.21. So I do have one outlier. And what does that outlier do to the mean and the standard deviation? Well, it creates a smaller mean and it gives me a larger standard deviation. It forces my data to be more spread out. And that is how that outlier affects it. To give an even clearer comparison, what I could do is I could compare um, my mean and standard deviation that I got originally and then I could do it a second time Let's see if it saved my data. No, nope, it didn't. Yours saved in your calculator though. And I could remove the 92.1 from the list and then I could say, oh, it changed the mean by 0 0.05 and give an actual answer to that. All right, um, I have one more problem here that I would encourage you to try. And I'm not going to walk you through it. I want you to try using the calculator and figuring it out on your own. But what I will include is um, in a moment, I want you to pause it, and then I want you to come back and check your answers. I also included in our folder a link to a website that gives step-by-step -step instructions once more on how to use your calculator to find standard deviation. Um, so you can always refer back to that. Um, so this is our last instructional video. Um, I'll probably give you one more video message before we go, um, but I want you all to know that I've had a really great year. Um, I'm really disappointed that we weren't able to end it together, um, but I hope that you learned some math, you had some fun, um, and that you have a wonderful summer. Don't be too cool to say hi to me next year.